Hi everyone, it's Shannon and welcome to today's video. So today's video is going to be another update, quick video on changes to the uh, COVID policies with the cruise line. So specifically, I'm gonna be talking about Disney Cruise Line and Royal Caribbean because those are the two cruise lines that I personally travel on and those are the ones that I follow on. Um, again, I don't do a lot of cruise news, but I thought this was pretty um, important updates. And um, since I'm traveling specifically on a Disney cruise in less than a month, I wanted to update everybody and let you know what's going on. So first, the big news with Disney Cruise Line. So um, we did talk about that no longer are um, 11 and under required to get the uh, be vaccinated they can now be unvaccinated however the new update is that um, testing is no longer required if you are fully vaccinated now this is going to start on Friday September 23rd which by chance is the day of our sailing. So we are leaving on the Disney Dream on Friday, September 23rd. So we will be one of the first cruises that will not have to test for Disney Cruise Line. So now this is only if you are fully vaccinated and fully vaccinated, it doesn't include boosters. So it's just the initial um, fully vaccinated definition. So as defined by the CDC, it could be two doses of the Pfizer, two doses of Moderna, the one dose of the Johnson & Johnson, or there's some combinations of the other vaccines from the other countries. Um, and it, it explains it on the Disney Cruise Line website. I will post a link below. But um, so fully vaccinated guests, there's no testing required. And then there's also no face coverings required. Now for non -fully, not fully vaccinated guests, so this would be guests that are 11 and under because 12 and older on Disney Cruise Line is are still required to be vaccinated. Um, the pre-embarkation -embark testing uh, is one to three days before the sale date, and the test must uh, be a rapid or lab-based PCR test or a NAAT test. Um, the rapid antigen tests are not accepted, and I don't believe they have to test at the port anymore. So this is just the pre-cruise testing. Now it does have to be an, uh, a rapid PCR or the NAAT. So I always did ours um, at the uh, port. I mean, I'm sorry, at the Walgreens. We always did ours at Walgreens. They had the rapid um, and, and NAAT and it worked out well. Uh, I know CVS has it too, but it can't be an antigen for the non, um, for the uh, unvaccinated. So that's going to be 11 and under and they no longer have to test at the port. So this is huge. Um, I know some people have mixed emotions. So I'm not gonna get into whether this is good or bad. Uh, that is, you know, everybody has a personal belief of what that is, if it's good or bad. I think it's just from a from our standpoint it is going to remove that stress before a sailing and that was always very stressful where you know you have this trip you're planned and then you're getting ready and you you know you don't know you you just test positive you have no symptoms obviously we have home, home tests we will probably test um before just for peace of mind um and you know like i said to be to be responsible but to have that not looming over our head is is going to be definitely a, a sign of relief um and i think for a lot of people especially for those that are traveling uh it's hard to kind of shell out the money to travel and then especially if you have to test at the port um to know like you're you're not going to have to test at the port if you have a an unvaccinated child so that's a huge thing for disney cruise line and then so if if your sailing is September 22nd or before, you still got to test. But for those sailing September 23rd or after, testing is no longer required if you are fully vaccinated. Okay, so next up is going to be the update for Royal Caribbean. Now this came out uh, probably a week or two ago and um, I'm gonna include it just so that it's up to date on my channel. And starting, I'm just gonna read it, starting September 5th, all vaccinated and unvaccinated guests are welcome on all Royal Caribbean ships out of all US home ports. Unvaccinated guests five years or older must present a negative COVID test no more than three days old. Test can be a PCR antigen or self-administered home test. Vaccinated guests, no testing for sailings nine days or less. So it says nine days, so I'm going to assume that's eight nights or less. I would say if it's eight nights, I mean, I'm sorry, nine nights, I would, I would um, 
just speak to your travel agent or confirm with the tra uh, with the uh, cruise line because it says nine days or less. So nine nights would probably be 10 days. So just clarify that. But at least eight nights and less would not have to, um, no testing if you are fully vaccinated. So there's no testing requirements for guests under five vaccinated or unvaccinated. So any kids that are um, four and under don't even have to test even if they're unvaccinated. So there will be some additional considerations for sailings going to Bermuda and Canada, and that just is going to depend on you know the country's requirements. So again, this is really, really huge. Um, Royal Caribbean that, again, so we are very excited because we don't have a Royal Caribbean sailing until March of 2023. So I'm hoping this doesn't change, but we have a seven night sailing. And up until this point, it was only five nights, but now we have a seven night sailing. So that means as of right now, if things don't change, we will not have to um, do any sort of testing for our March 2023 Oasis of the Sea sailing on Royal Caribbean. So very excited about that. But also exciting is if you are unvaccinated, even if you are 12 and older, you can't sail on Disney Cruise Line. However, you can now sail on Royal Caribbean, which I think again is, is wonderful. Maybe you couldn't get the vaccine or for whatever reason, or you just didn't want to, you now can sail. You do have to do additional testing however you are allowed now to sail on the ship so i think that is really really great it's going to open cruising i'm going to open up cruising a lot and what i'm hearing from my own travel agent is that people are now starting to book um, on on both you know on all the cruise lines you know not just royal caribbean and disney cruise line but they're all starting to loosen up their their policies but especially disney cruise line and royal caribbean with these new changes a lot of people are starting to book so if you are looking to book a cruise i would definitely say reach out to your travel agent contact them soon because um with more people booking prices are going to go up so you want to get in there before the prices start to start to go up so if you were thinking about cruising definitely um definitely reach out to your travel agent and i will post some links to some uh, recommendations of some travel agents below so with that if you like this video click like click and subscribe that way you get a notification every time i post a new video bye everyone